Were you training a specific martial martial art, karate, taekwondo, no, or no, what? No, no, we were training whatever works because uh, like we didn't w- we, we didn't want to do any sports because we were thinking already we were working as bouncers, right? And um, so we need to do things that take follow techniques that work. So we're looking at all right, there's Wing Chun, there's Jet Kyundo, there's like Bruce Lee style. Um, or we trained with some boxers, and the good thing was that, um, again, I was like 20, and um, I've been working the doors ever s- then until I was 29. And that was, um, by working the doors, I mean minimum three weeks, three times a week, so sometimes more. So, and obviously I was changing the clubs and everything, right, because we, we were growing. And then I got to know other people. And then I was meeting Brandon, and Brandon's a boxer. And he was like, hey, you know what, just Thursday night, pass by at 6 o'clock. All right, so I go there, I do a little boxing, I do a little this, I do a little that. Until 2004, it's a long time ago, guys. Mm-hmm. That was my first time I came to Thailand. 2004, I'm coming to Thailand with friends from Germany. Just, just to travel and come see Thailand. Well, I was with, with friends, and w- they had a friend that was living here. Like we flown over to see him, it's just ten days, and uh, I was like, oh, "I'm in, right?" Because I've always been interested in Asia. Like I think, I mean, we can talk about that later. But I was like, I've always been interested in Asia. I always loved Asia, uh, without ever having been there, right? I was like, "Bro, you fl- you flying to Thailand? Bro, I'm in, right?" All right, so we fly to Thailand, um, and what happens is that I do Muay Thai, of course, and then I was, like, oh, "Muay Thai is the best." Where, where were you? At Tiger? In or? Drum Tien. Jo- that was Drum Tien, that's next uh, to Pattaya. Pattaya. Yeah, John, okay, yes. yes. I don't know how you pronounce John, it. John, I'm thinking John Tien. I think it's a beach, right? Drum Tien is a beach, yes. Yes, okay. Yes, correct. So we were right there, and then we were, um, yeah, I was doing Muay Thai. I was going, but uh, Muay Thai is the best, bro. I need to do Muay Thai. And uh, so I'm flying back to Germany, and I was like, I'm, I'm looking for a Muay Thai club, right? So I'm going to every Muay Thai club around like spend two weeks there, four weeks there, and obviously I don't find anything similar to what I've experienced here in Thailand, right? Because it's not the same. It's just not. It's just not. So like, okay, this is not it. Okay, I need to change. And then it switched to all the clubs. Uh, didn't find out what I was looking for and started training back with my friends in that aerobic room <laughs> of the gym, right? And then in 2007, another friend of mine that was working as a bouncer as well, he was like, oh, you know what, there's uh, this guy, he's come back, and he's so good at fighting. He's a wrestler, and he does some ground fighting, whatever, and we're training with him now. He's, he was in Norway, and he came back, and we're training with him now. So, all right, let me come. Like, just, there was nothing else on my mind anyway, right? So I'm meeting him, and what happens is that I fall in love with Jits, obviously, because, you know, something which I've never experienced before, um, through my years of training stand-up, wherever I was going, be it a boxing gym, uh, whatever, Shotokan gym, be it a kickboxing gym, what I, I was always, I got along, right? I got beaten up, of course, but, you know, I've, I was able to land some punches, land some kicks or whatever, ground fighting. If you enjoyed this content, we're doing five clips like this a week. If you want to watch the full podcast, click here.